Telecom has morphed into a multifaceted ecosystem which now has tentacles into almost every aspect of the civilized world. Technology is now growing exponentially. Super smartphones are now an integral part of the human anatomy. So what is changing in the way that telecom networks are now getting designed, built and operated? For starters, the hierarchy of the architecture is now collapsing. The pyramid of technology, which had clear definition of the access network connected to almost dumb devices in the uh, past, uh, an aggregated layer which consolidated all the traffic and handed it over to a central intelligent core that processed and routed minutes. All of this has suddenly become irrelevant. Incredibly large amounts of packet traffic is now uh, moving across, directly across the devices. Then there is this mission critical information that needs to be updated in real uh, fast manner, near real time, single digit millisecond kind of latency. This is for applications like driverless cars to maneuver themselves in traffic. Devices now, they have a collective wisdom which is almost equal or if not more than the network itself. And finally, there is this overreaching mega web of internet that has become source and sink of almost all pervasive communication that happens today. Telco 2.0 is defined by three orthogonal attributes. First, a ubiquitous and an elastic digital highway for connectivity. Second, a real-time context and service aware delivery system. And third, a producer of huge digital capacity by aggregating the underlying technologies 2G, 3G, 4G, Wi-Fi, rolling up to the mythical 5G. The journey of telco to a digital service provider is as much a technology and architecture change as it is the culture and the thought process. Telcos are now using the bleeding edge technology to create the digital ecosystem. A network which is closer to the customer offers almost an on-demand capacity and is context aware so that the, when it connects the customer devices to the cloud for almost everything that can be consumed in the digital world, it knows what it's doing. The definition of reality in the digital world is changing. For the digital natives who are consuming books, movies, education, information, shopping, hanging out, almost all virtually, reality is now just the annoying time between sleep and internet. The story of three Vs spanning across the first three decades of this century is a classical illustration. Decade 1, 2001 to 2010 saw us in India connect almost a billion people from a near zero teledensity. This was the decade of voice when almost all pervasive connectivity was built up and this enabled the most basic form of communication, the first V, voice. Decade 2, 2011, thanks to the first series of now famous spectrum auctions, enabled us to launch 3G and 4G in the country. And this was the first taste of mobile broadband in a country which was on the wrong side of the digital divide. Halfway into the decade, we've already moved from providing 1 Mbps of 3G speeds to 150 Mbps of carrier aggregated 4G speeds. And the dominant consumption of this decade is video. More than half of the digital consumption on mobile data is video. This is the second V. As this decade comes to an end, a third V is emerging. And this would be the decade of virtuality. Almost every transaction which can be handled virtually will take place in this digital world. Meetings and conferences, theatres and operas, matches and events, classrooms and counselling sessions, you name it. Almost everything will run on digital world. It will be done without you moving out of your living room. This will obviously mean a totally different level of ubiquitous coverage, a totally different requirement of capacity and a totally different awareness on the context of what is going on. The level which is almost intuitive and made more so by hyper powerful algorithms of cognitive learning and artificial intelligence. This is the time when, the, when telecom as a, as a technology, as an industry would actualize itself to enable and fulfill a life that would be really, really virtual or as some would say virtually real.